The first experiment will be to combine 12 parts of carbon dioxide and 11 parts of H2O um, and form it into C12 plus H22 um, plus O11 11. with a 12 O2 uh, released as a mm -hmm. gas. Um, so most of the hydrogen will come from... No. This hypothesizes that the released oxygen is coming from the CO2 and not from the H2O as is described in other papers. Now how we're going to combine them with the radio resonance? Well we will have to use CO2 gas plus hydrogen and oxygen gas. And we will attempt to um, um, combine them? combine them by magnetic resonance of hydrogen. Okay. Now the CO two is mostly from the atmosphere. Well, we will probably buy a tank of CO two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But in nature, it takes it from the atmosphere. The water the plant gets from the roots. Right. So the energy will be low because the plants don't have a lot of energy. The plants have to manufacture a whole support structure of, um, of fiber and uh, in order to form this leaf structure, etc. Yeah. Um, the part that the chlorophyll plays in there is capturing the right molecules in the microchondria of the leaf. Um, so that's how it collects gases. Hmm. Uh, we are going to bypass the entire process of growing a plant and do the chemical reaction directly from gases. That's the fundamental of what we are aiming this entire research towards. Okay. That's the end of that story.